All right, everyone. Hey, how are you guys doing? So I am at work. The kids are sleeping, all except for one child. <laughs> and um, so I'm in here by myself watching the kiddos sleep. And I thought I would read some of my notes on time management. Um, you guys will start seeing me as I am working at the daycare. I will be posting and doing some videos um, during my downtime at the daycare. I do have downtime and I have an hour break every day. So it's great time for me to make videos. And so um, the kids sleep here at the daycare between 12.30 and 2.30. And so that is my downtime. And so I am managing my time very wisely um, as I am working. And as a single mom, I have to. Um, this gives me time to pay my bills or focus on the schedules that I have. Um, and I've been taking a lot of Bible notes. And um, during my downtime at work at the daycare. So I um, thought I might make this video on time management. Um, I'm just going to read off my notes what I have. Number one. What have I been praying for? So I am trying to focus on the list of things that I am praying for um, and being very specific on my request um, to God. What am I believing God for? You know, God gives us a, a lot of promises and he says, ask and you shall receive. So, um, you know, you have to have faith that God has got your circumstances, your problems that you're having under control and so what am I believing God for well right now I'm believing God to keep his promises um, his promises that he's coming soon his promises that he will never give us more than we can handle and we are fully equipped as Christians um, to take on any battle uh, with the armor of God and so God says, you know, focus on him, do what's right, and we will inherit the kingdom of God um, if we are faithful and just. And um, so following God's word, uh, do not be lukewarm in your Christianity, um, in your faith to Jesus. So um, don't just say that you're a Christian um, and don't just be a part-time Christian. Uh, be a full-time Christian every day. In every struggle that you have, give it to God and let Him control you in your life. And um, we're not worthy to be living this life. And so, um, you know, only giving God the glory and believing that He will keep His promises for us. Um, what has God um, asked me to do? I guess I need to put on my glasses because um, I can't see what I even wrote down. So, um, there we go. That's a lot better. Um, what has God asked us for us to do? Um, individually, he's asked each one of us to do um, his service and to um, spread the gospel. That's why I make these YouTube videos, is to use my um, journey as a single mom to uh, bring others towards Christ. This isn't about me or my journey. I'm just using it um, as an example of what I've had to go through and how my divorce has really brought me closer to my relationship with Christ. So, um, am I prepared to do the things that God is asking me to do? You know, when God tells you to do something, you are to obey. Um, you know, God told us in his word on how to live our lives. And um, when we were married, we had a covenant that we made with um, Jesus Christ. And when we were saved, we had a covenant that we made with Jesus Christ. And so um, God is going to give us what we need to prepare us for um, fulfilling those covenants and following through with our faithfulness to him. God is about the little things. So don't worry about the big things. Um, God wants us to show our faithfulness to him in the little things that we do. Um, everything that you wait for has a purpose. So if God doesn't give you an answer directly, immediately, um, maybe that answer is wait, be patient, be still, know that I'm God. And, um, you know, 
uh, wait on him to give you that yes or no answer. Have a resolute for yourself. Um, you know, there's always plan A, plan B. You know, make those plans, make those options for you. Know your why. Um, ask God, why is this happening to me? Um, in your marriages, in your divorces, um, why am I single? You know, and um, every time I have asked God that, He says it's to build your faith, it's to grow your faith for me. Um, I cannot spread the gospel the way God has asked me to do it if I am not following Him and uh, if I am not relying on Him to get me through my journey as a single mom. So, um, when I'm using my journey, I am just saying I'm using what God has given to me. Um, not much, but it's what God wants me to use is my gifts and my talents and making these YouTube videos. Um, write down my key goals. So I have wrote down all my key goals uh, from my single life now. And um, it's not really any different than my key goals in my marriage, to be honest with you guys. But um, write those down and um, focus on what God is asking you to do. Prep, prepare for what's to come. Like I said, always have a plan A, have a plan B. Um, God is a God of recovery. Um, he wants you to heal through your trials. He wants you to heal through your struggles or the lies against you or the accusations against you. Um, God wants you to be sober-minded at all times. Um, you have the power to change. It's a decision. You don't have to um, wait on circumstances to change. You have the power to change and to do what's right. And so um, I encourage you guys to just read God's Word. Um, the foundation. What is your foundation on? Um, is it on God? Is it on His Word? Um, we all make decisions based on our foundation of what we hold dear to our heart. So, um, there, it's a spiritual battle that uh, each of us will have. Um, and we need a plan. We need to prepare and we need to put on that full armor of God to um, fight those battles that are going to come against us. If you are following Christ, Satan's going to try to attack you. So I encourage you to be prepared, have a plan, um, and stand firm on the foundation of God. Uh, your life is your business. Be a business mind frame of um, how you handle your life transactions. You know, um, I believe that salvation and your daily walk with Jesus Christ is a contract that you made. Make time for God in your family. Um, always make time uh, for God in your family. Walk the walk, not just talk the talk. Priorities, set your goals. Let God be your trainer. Focus on um, what God is calling you to do. Make yourself be the wife that God has called you to be. Make yourself a mom that God has called you to be. Make yourself a grandma that God has called you to be. God is in a movement. He's continually growing you and exercising faith as it grows in you. Scripture is practical. Be a little Christ. Show others Christ in you. So I hope you guys heard me. Um, I have music playing in the background while the kids sleep. And um, I've changed rooms now. And so, um, 
I just want to close this video with, um, you know, these are notes that I am taking for me. And while I'm reading my scriptures, and while I'm reading the scriptures, and I just want to be the best mom I can be and follow Christ in everything I do, do what's right. And I hope this encourages you today. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Bye.